folks on Kudzu Hill are ready to rock. They have their libations, and we got a great baseball game for you. Number 10, national seed NC State. Number 7 seed Georgia. And what has been a pendulum swinging series to this point? Extremes at both ends. Now, only one spot left for that trip to Omaha. It will and a 2-1 pitch is rocketed high to right field. Goldstein at the track, at the wall. It's off the top of the fence. Serrano motors into second standing up. That hit off the very top of the wall and somehow stayed in this ballpark, which got underneath that one and sent it to Dylan Carter in center. One down. Now Zach Harris, two different fastballs for him. He's going to Karevich at a Lake Brantley High School in Florida, and he rolls over this one to Slate Alford. Two down, but it gets Serrano to third. First year pitching at Georgia Southern. And a ground ball to the right side with a shift on. Kobe Branch handles it, and the leadoff double does no damage. No runs a hit, one left. Jordan save come from his pitch framing skills. Yeah, if you'll watch him, he'll see where the glove is, and he'll drop it to the ground. He'll work from the bottom up, and that's what catchers are taught to do these days. They want to work from the bottom up. They feel like they can steal more strike. The Walker School in Marietta. And he lines it to the left. Whoa! Stumbling catch made by Luke Nixon. My goodness. Is your fastball. Make it look exactly the same, and then trust the grip to slow the ball down. Swing and a miss. He caves two in the first inning, needing just 13 pitches to find three outs. We have a pitcher's duel on our hands. In the first game here in dominant fashion before dropping yesterday afternoon's contest. Into right. Then a gold scene puts it away. And Sosa rips one right at the shortstop branch, looking into the sun. And that turned into a defensive maneuver. Sosa reaches, originally moved to right field, then to left after Hogue's injury. Swing and a miss. First base occupied. That'll be good for the first strikeout for Zach Harris. He used that aggression against him. The one two slider hit to the right side and through the hole. Sosa will stop at second. And NC State gets a two out hit from Matt Hebner. High but shallow center field for Dylan Carter. And he hauls it in. NC State strands a pair in. Just a, uh, it's a changeup. That's all <laughs> I got. Just a changeup. George has got its first base runner. On a walk to Dylan Goldstein. And it brings freshman Trey Phelps to the plate. Only high school in Kennesaw. Takes a curveball to straightaway center field. Serrano to the fence. This one is over the wall and gone. Phelps has done it again. And he recognized and watch him right there. He knew what it was. You talk about put a barrel on one. There's 216 stitches on a baseball, and I think he got every one of them on that swing right there. And he goes down looking. Third strikeout for Logan Whitaker. One down. Boy, Cozart, the catcher for NC State. I, I love the idea of doing that because you're working from the bottom up. You're still in a few pitches, but can you still block some balls when you need to? And he's athletic enough to do it. Butterworth with the pick, two down. Mitt, and that's what I was trying to throw to. Could use you on the driving range. Little dribbler back to the mound. Whitaker with the underhand toss to finish the frame, but not before freshman Trey. <laughs> Lined into center field. Carter gets there after a couple of hops. And Serrano's got his second hit. Sunday Night Baseball State. We would get fined if we used those words. 
Into center field, well struck. Carter will watch it sail, and it's a home run for Garrett Pennington on the first pitch. NC State bounces back with the 18th home run of the year for Pennington. Boy, you talk about turning one around. How about 108 off the bat, 424 feet right over our center field camera. Boy, what a move to the baseball that was. What we got going on here? Playing a little hockey. Love it. Two. Hard to believe somebody's not going to give this kid a chance to play pro ball. This outstanding player of the Raleigh Regional. Right through 95. Big pitch from Zach Harris. Follow. And he rips one through the right side. Second trip through the order and and, and pitch with the broken nose and a black eye. This one's turned on and pulled foul. Long run for Chadwick in the corner and he makes the catch. Well, that thing was coming back with off from Zach Harris. Pull to the right side and again they beat the shift. Cozart on his way to third, packed with runners at first and third and two down. The one two from Harris again and the tag applied to finish it off it is a third strikeout for Zach Harris but Garrett Pennington with a big two run bomb to get state back in this thing June when LSU was in the College World Series Wes Johnson had the Georgia job but was finishing up with LSU Paul Skeens and company and so when we're gonna Collins side for fourth in Georgia history with 45 home runs and sends it to the left side. Mekarevich fires. Two down. And now the bases are empty for Charlie Condon, the 6'6", 216 pounds. He's had to work to put that weight on since he arrived on campus and redshirted his first year. And he chases that one maybe out of the zone. Strike at number five for Logan Whitaker. Final Super Regional game, seven teams Making the travel plans for Omaha already. Winner of this one will be the eighth, and this ball is launched into the corner. Will roll all the way up underneath the fence before Clayton Chadwick can find it. And Matt Hevner has a two for two night going. Boy, I tell you what, NC State from game one of this Super Regional, they have been uber aggressive at home plate. I mean, they came from Pennington. Inside ball four. Ahead of him in the standings and the rankings that you just mentioned. The pitch. Perfectly placed to third. Condon takes care of it. And the sacrifice advances Hebner to third and Souls to second. Oh, that one will trickle to the backstop. Racing home from third is Hebner, and NC State has its first lead of the game. Have an inning or two. Swing and a miss, one in the dirt. Gonzalez will have to throw down to finish the strikeout. Two down. Oh, that's a big strikeout for Smith. Strikeout. To the left side throw, NC State has a two-run lead, and Makarevich with his first hit of the game. Big hit, Mac. That's him. Run around the move, it's lined up the middle and into the glove of Colby Branch. But NC State scrapes across a couple. Two. And look, he had his best start of the year, and that goes a long way for confidence. His best start of the year, his last time out in game three of that Raleigh Regional. Swing and a miss on 92. 6K here for Logan Whitaker. He's seen, so as a hitter, you know that. And you know when you get down two strikes, you need to protect the outside part of the plate. Oldstein sends it to center. Here's Eli Serrano. Two down. And Trey Phelps coming up. He did some damage last time. To the left side and another hit for Phelps. A two out single this time. He is two for two. Yeah, he got him a little off speed pitch right there and just kind of went out and circled it. It was a while for him to get back. And then in the regional, he didn't have a hit, but he was walked four times. And he was hit four times. He didn't even swing the bat till his fourth AB of the region. And he goes down looking here. 
Strikeout number seven for he ended up getting three hits off of Kumar Rocker. That's right. Brandon Butterworth leads off the fifth with a single. And so it wasn't until later that night. Maybe it took him a little while longer to decide that one in Clemson yesterday, last night. Swing and a miss. Yeah, it took him a little longer to decide a lot of things in that game. That was an all-time classic last night. 1-1 one, one pitch. To the left side, past the reach of Branch. Butterworth heads to third. The throw there allows an extra 90 feet for Nixon. And NC State has two in scoring position. Once again, it's the bottom half of the order coming through. One down. Packed house at Foley Field with two on and one out. Here's the 2 2 to Hebner. Got him again. Same pitch. Third strikeout for Smith. Well, you talk about a strike. Curveball. Two different speeds, two different shapes. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Grounded to the right side. Charging is offered and just gets it over there in time. NC State strands a pair. And the senior lifts it down the right field line. Souls racing into foul territory and gets there before he meets up with the cinder blocks. Going right through the bullpen gate. Stay. And this one's ripped into the right field corner. It's a fair ball and up against the base of the fence. Chadwick into second base with a feet first slide and a one out double has the Georgia crowd on its feet. And that's why I'm sitting up here and not coaching down there. <laughs> Here's the payoff to Branch. Rip to the left side. It's through. Chadwick will be stopped at third and Georgia's got two on with one out in the fifth. Two out and one on in the fifth, and you got the top of your lineup rolling up now. Some pop, 20 home runs. Got him in the elbow, and it's one of the ways he leads the nation in on base percentage. He gets clipped. School record hit by pitches, and now the bases are loaded for Condon. Swing and a miss. He gets Condon with the bases loaded. That was good morning, good afternoon, and we'll see you next time. Duden has leaned on his slider, the payoff. Little roller to the right side. Hebner gathers, and NC State behind Jacob Duden gets two huge outs. First to strike at a Condon. It's in game time set. And this one's launched deep to right field. It is gone. NC State does it on the first pitch again. This time it's Eli Serrano, the third, his third hit of the game. <laughs> Man, oh man, Ben, we talk about shut out, shut down innings from pitchers. How about the fact that they just got the shutdown inning with the bases loaded and the offense answers as Serrano ambushes that pitch. Now, I would stand there and watch this one, young man, because that's what you call a big ball there. That is stretching one out. Somewhere up there on top of Kudzu Hill. Tap to the right side and Alford. Sidearm, one down. In the dirt and tag applied. We got game three of the NBA Finals Wednesday night in Dallas. NC State has fit a through through the shift over the course of this game. Slow roller, Alford's got a charge and flips it over to get the catcher. Lead off, home run for is the payoff pitch. Up the middle with the shift on, long run, cut off by Mekarevich, and got it there. Good balance by Pennington. Well, Mekarevich tonight, a three run home run yesterday. And even though he got jammed, able to muscle it into right field, he is three for three. How about Nick Mangione in Kentucky, huh? Back-to-back -back hits says Carter sends one to left field. Trey Phelps headed to third. And Georgia's got something cooking here in the sixth with two aboard. Yeah, love these two approaches right here. First one by Trey Phelps. Just count. 
Fly ball to right field into the corner. Soles coming over. Makes a catch. Tagging from third is Phelps. What an effort by Soles. It turns into a sack fly as Phelps comes home from third. Then it kind of backed up a little bit. Payoff runner on the move. That's ball four. Two on with two out. Colby Branch is due up. And a week off between outings. It's 0 2. Chase the slider. That and was he gets out one. of the inning again. To light the bell tower red at the end of the night and get back to Omaha for the fourth time. Butterworth pops it up. Collins handles it. One down. Wait day on Sunday. Then you get a bullpen probably about three days afterwards. This ball is towered deep to right field. It is onto the hill and into the party. A massive home run from Alex Sosa. His third hit of the game. And NC State extends the lead. Trackman may have lost sight of that when it says it went 377 feet. Uh, that was a moonshot. A rainmaker is what that was. Up and answered right back and taking it back. It was like a little slider left right in the heart of the plate. And I mean, this thing went out of sight, folks. 37 degree launch angle. Goodness. Nobody from the party wants to go into the bushes for that one. Here's Luke Nixon. He is one for three tonight. And he drags a bunt down the right side. Great thought. And tagged by Corey Collins. A big advantage because he hadn't seen any of the all speed pitches yet. Now, when you get one of those at bats where it goes 10, 11 pitches and you show him everything you got in the tank, that's when the hitter gets pretty familiar with what you're trying to do. Alex Sosa sends a moonshot into the kudzu. It's a 6-3 state lead. Two behind Tennessee. And there you go. He reaches again. Leads the nation in on-base percentage. The last time he fa faced Jacob Duden. Oh, and Duden has one get away from him. With two on. And nobody out. Georgia trailing by three. And Alford touches the first deep to center field. Serrano back. He's at the wall. And he makes the catch. Tagging from second is Collins. Eli Serrano may have just saved a game tying home run. And at 6 5, he used every bit of his reach to make sure that one found the leather. Well, Serrano is doing it on both sides of the ball. Three for three at the plate, including a home run. And watch him go get this one. Slider off the bat. And a bullet all the way out to center field. And go get it, young man. He uses all six foot five of that frame right there to reel that one in. To the right side. This will get a run home. And as Bennington takes it to the bag. Condon is the runner at second. And if you're Trey Phelps, you're looking for nothing but a slider. High right field. Souls has plenty of space. Now he's going to chase, and he comes across the chalk to make the play to end the inning. Lined into center field. One down. Obviously, he can hit. You put another 20 pounds on that frame right there. And he sends one high to left field. Ball carrying at the fence. Catch made by Clayton Chadwick. And I'm telling you. And this breaking ball scorched past Condon into left field corner. Chadwick will watch him roll all the way to the fence. Pennington digs his way to second. Oh, this guy can hit. And he mm. launches it into the trees in right center field. Makarevich goes yard. <laughs> NC State is pouring it on now. Boy, every time 
that Georgia has scored, NC State has come right back in the top half of the next inning to somebody's trailer hitch at night. That's the only, that's what that feels like. I think that probably happens more often in Louisiana. A lot of, well, a lot around here too in Georgia. Makarevich, they will know how to say the name when NC State makes it to Omaha and he may just get that tooth fixed. Come on. If you hit like this, leave the chip out. That's big hit Mac right there. NC State answers right back with his fourth long ball of the day. Every ball that goes in the air goes over the fence. It, it kind of gets in your head a little bit. <laughs> kind of change what you what, what you might do. Might throw a few more fastballs down in the zone, more sinking fastballs if you can. Carter caught looking on a fastball from Derek Smith. They do during a regular season. Yeah, think about that Tennessee team from a few years ago. Went back to Omaha and being one of the top home run hitting teams in the country. That pitch is low and away to Fernando Gonzalez. It says you're running. It's be the first ever trip to Omaha for Kentucky. No play at second and almost late at first, and somehow Smith's foot found the bag. Brock Bennett is the first base coach for Georgia. Waves had another slider. That has been the kryptonite for this Georgia offense tonight, whether it was Duden or Smith. Another runner left on. Him is three defensive outs away from doing just that. Here's Brandon Butterworth to lead off the ninth. Rip to mm. Condon, one down. I think Tennessee just in their regional alone hit 12 or 13. Fly ball deep left field. Chadwick back. On to the warning track and two down now. How about Tony Vitello? She didn't hit a whole 100 home runs. <laughs> and this year alone, 31 teams hit over 100 home runs. Swing and a miss, and it's a last chance for Georgia. They need four for a tie, five. And this ball's rocketed to right field, but right at Noah Souls. One down. Line drive right field racing back souls. It is gone. Condon's done it. His 37th home run to lead the nation. Giving Georgia life here in the ninth. And he did it too. How about a little backside action by Charlie Condon. 37th long ball of the year, his 78th RBI. Georgia pulls within three. They got out in a hurry, huh? Yeah, I like that approach too, because you got to respect the slider from Derek Smith. You know it's coming, and that's a fastball, and that's what his idea was: is hey, you know what? I'm gonna be a little bit late on that fastball, but I know I got enough to blow it out of the ballpark. Whitaker gave him four and a third. Duden gave him one and two thirds tonight. The payoff, low for ball four. Yeah, this is getting pretty interesting here. Yep. Got underneath it, popped it up a mile high to the right side. Hevner. Two down. Twelve home runs on the season for Phelps. And he swings it the first, sends it to center. Serrano is back. And NC State's headed back to Omaha. Elliott Avance boys come on the road and take the Super Regional from Georgia. You can light the bell tower red again. Boy, NC State, huh? Getting hot at the right time.